so I have an interesting thing that we could play with. Instead of saying to yourself, I wish I wouldn't worry and I have the tools, that would suggest that actually, since you believe you have the tools and you're not utilizing the tools, that you actually want to worry. So instead of saying to yourself, I wish I wouldn't worry, why don't you list some of the reasons why you absolutely want to worry? You're worrying inside of yourself, which is a sort of a, we'll call it a manageable level of fear. So you create a level of fear inside yourself and you're sitting in that room and your child, let's say, is in another room in another town, in another place. And you have the belief, if I keep worrying, my kid's gonna be safe. And so, so there's the superstition, it's really a superstitious belief. Worry keeps the people I worry about safe. And then the opposite would be the next concept. If I don't worry about them, they're not gonna be safe. And then if they get hurt, it's my fault. But if I worried about them and then they got hurt, at least I tried because worry is supposed to keep them safe. The fact that you know you want to move on is part of what will allow you to move on. To say, I want to move on from doing this to myself. I want to move on from uh, the worry and the self-criticism. So you might say, why, didn't I, why haven't I stopped doing it? The stronger it gets for you inside yourself that I want to do it, I'm ready to do it, I want to do it more, I'm ready to do it, is part of the trajectory that you're creating and doing it. You're actually on your way. You really are actually on your way. And that's a beautiful thing. So rather than thinking, I got to be there right now, you go, I'm on my way. I'm on my way.